Okay, what's up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Uh, welcome back to Prince Tay's Tarot. I'm Prince Tay. Okay, as you know, this is a tarot card channel where I go ahead and channel energies for the general collective as well as individual zodiac signs and the zodiac. I said individual zodiac signs and zodiac signs and visionary messages as well as collective energies, okay? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to continue to support the channel. Okay, I'll greatly appreciate it. And let's get into it, yes? Let's get into it, shall we? Let's see. We're just gonna look channel some energy okay and we're gonna see what spirit has to say what's gonna come out today okay let's see spirit says that his ancestors thank you we have the five of swords energy here so i see a lot of you all in this sort of like rest and rejuvenate um energy here with the five of swords is mostly what i'm getting here okay uh maybe you all could feel as if you've come a long way here yeah the truth here king of swords i could be talking to a gemini libra aquarius or someone that works in the communication field or that is um communication oriented here okay that works with the communication or the way that they uh, speak here okay with this full card energy this talks about this king of swords energy wanting to take a leap of faith or possibly wanting to move or make some sort of a movement towards an energy or a place most uh most most specifically or more specifically here in order to create some sort of energy of newness or to want to create you know something new or original for themselves here with this ace of wands i mean i'm feeling like a lot of you all could be like on the go a lot here okay with this full card energy right this could be new school, new job, new creation, right? If I'm talking to any of my visionaries here, uh, watching this reading or viewing this reading right now, y'all could um, be working on new music, you know, whatever, putting out new stuff for your clothing lines, you know, whatever this energy is, just being very creative here for yourself in this energy with the Ace of Wands or the Fool card here, okay? Something very specific about this leap of faith that you all could be wanting to take here, maybe um, either towards someone, I'm getting most specifically towards something new, towards a new direction, um, possibly even here, okay, with this full card and the Ace of Wands energy, all right? Yeah, we also have the King of Cups here, so this could be same-sex energy, same-sex relation here, okay? That's what I'm getting. We got two masculine energies here on the board right now, but um, I'm definitely saying that you could possibly be wanting to create with someone that you uh, feel like is a good partner to collaborate here with, with this King of Cups energy. You could view this person as someone reliable and responsible here, also someone that is very much so in control of their emotions their emotional uh, standpoint and aspect, okay? With this King of Swords or the King of Cups energy, their emotions in general here, okay? Also a very generous uh, soul or person here. This could also be another artist. So again, heavy on that collaboration energy here. Yeah, I split the deck on the... Um on the ace of swords coming up in reverse here okay so maybe you all could want to communicate some sort of truthfulness here um to one another or to each other or to this energy more specifically here okay with this uh with the ace of swords coming up in reverse energy this could be a uh i've seen the strength card energy as well so this could require a lot of strength out of you all which is why you could possibly be taking um a small break here to some sort to some extent or you know taking a rest here taking a knee is what i was about to say all right here's what's in his ancestors yeah, we have the temperance angel energy here exactly what i was saying so definitely tempering yourself and like you know again with this rest and reju this rest and rejuvenation energy here with this temperance angel so really you know pacing yourself is the energy that is giving here okay we have the four of pentacles here so this talks about an energy of um material wealth here right maybe um you you definitely i definitely see some material wealth coming into you here or being um or you moving into an energy of materialism or material wealth here okay i also feel as if you you can see or you think that this person is very much mature or matches your maturity to some extent here with the two of wands here yeah we have the higher thing here okay so this could be a spiritual guru spiritual teacher of some sort as well here with the higher fit energy this is someone we have the king of coins as well here so this could be definitely an emperor energy here or someone that embodies a lot of emperor energy here okay so this is ancestors for the collective energies okay but this is for someone very loyal here regardless okay this is someone that gets things done here um that you can rely on here okay period we have the moon card energy here coming up in reverse is what the energy came up as so i'm gonna take it in reverse here okay so the moon card energy in reverse gives uh really just talks about like illumination here okay really i'm um, bringing things to light here showing up for yourself more specifically is what the moon card talks about here yeah the eight of coins talks about some apprenticeship here okay so like i get like i said like i said again here's heavy on this um apprenticeship apprenticeship partnership type energy here okay with the eight of coins coming up here as well all right yeah we have the eight of cups coming up in reverse here all right so i definitely see that you all are continuing to put in effort towards something or a great deal of strength something is regarding or is, is requiring you to have a great deal of strength here or control not only over yourself but over a certain uh, a situation more specifically here okay with this knight of coins energy as well as with the strength card energy here so heavy on this leo like energy with the moon in reverse as well as with the strength card energy okay 
Um, you could have Leo anywhere aspected in your chart here, or you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn also highly aspected, very grounded energy here, okay? So I feel like you're definitely very grounded in your decision making and your skills or whatever this is that you're putting energy into with the strength card, all right? I see that you all are also very self-sufficient, independent in this energy. You have no problem kind of standing alone, right? Very well endowed um, and well accomplished here in your endeavors more specifically here. Yeah, we have the seven of coins here. So definitely consistency is key is what Spirit is saying is what the cards are saying, okay? Consistency, I can't make this up. We have the nine of coins, seven of coins, and then we have the 10 of coins here. So heavy on this materialism. Um, I'm hearing like a third harvest possibly here. You could be coming into here for yourself, all right? With the nine of coins, seven of coins, or nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, coins, however you wanna, you know, um, address the cards here, but I'm definitely seeing some sort of material harvest here um, that you all could be moving into. Something is going to be paying off in a big way for you here with the uh, Ten of Coins, Three of Coins, and the uh, Seven of Coins here, okay? the energy that is giving here. Eight of Swords coming up in reverse here. So I see that you're moving past any kind of a backstabs or past backstabs or bass or um, um, betrayals here. Yeah, Ace of Swords telling the truth here. Definitely continue with the stand up in your truth, speak your truth, and move in your truth here. Here he is. That's what we like to see, y'all. I'm about to say hold on, but my, um, my water bottle is behind the camera so i can't really take a sip of the water or else the camera will fall okay let's see spiritual and ancestors yeah we have the seven of cups here energy here all right so i definitely feel as if there's some sort of decision that you have to uh, make here in regards to possibly you know what what um you know what cup you really want to drink from or what really brings you the most fulfillment within yourself here is the energy that's that is uh that's giving okay with the with the hermit car energy i'm definitely seeing virgo energy on the board as well as more coin um taurus virgo capricorn energy then we have the star card here okay so I feel as if you're making this decision here in private or just in your own seclude, uh, secludity, okay, is what I want to say, or seclusion, okay, more specifically with the hermit card energy. I also feel like you're very knowledgeable on a specific topic here with this hermit energy. You have a very um, high amount of intelligence when it comes to a certain aspect of, not of yours, I going to say, of, of yourself, but of a certain um project even and then also as, a, as as well as a certain path here a certain um a certain lane that you're possibly in here with this hermit car energy okay six of coins yes yeah, uh philanthropy right so definitely heavily endowed or heavily knowledgeable or heavily educated in a specific or certain path here that you are in you're also a very charitable energy right now showing up okay whoever is resonating with this you're seen as someone very charitable someone that gives not only a lot of their energy but also a lot of their time here okay you're a star here you're meant to shine you're meant to stand out out here from others here okay with the star card energy okay here's what's interesting ancestors um aquarian energy as well here with this you can have aquarius anywhere in your chart as well but i'm definitely seeing that you can expect um good omen fulfillment satisfaction here really good outcomes for yourself here coming through okay yeah, I see that you're definitely devotion or de devoted to a certain path here for yourself with this page of coins energy. Yeah, queen of cups. You can be very devoted to a queen of cups energy. Someone that you feel as if matches your vibration, matches that you all vibrate on that same frequency here with the queen of cups, okay? Someone very warm-hearted and fair. Someone that you view as wifey. Queen of cups is wifey type, okay? So this is someone that you could view as just a good friend as well as a very devoted uh, partner. Um, I feel like you all have similar visions to a certain extent and also feel as if you feel you, you can see this as a very balanced uh, partnership or something that's very just okay something very fair yeah ace of cups here okay this is something that is um very emotionally fulfilling to yourself not only to yourself but to each other here with between one another okay with this five of coins energy here okay i'm definitely feeling this up like like i said something about a material harvest here i feel like things are starting to maybe you could have um maybe you could have lost something there was there could have been a loss or a loss in something here and i feel as if you are definitely you know working on this kind of material harvest here okay with this five of coins this energy of the five of coins coins coming up all right we have the th we have a uh, eight of swans in reverse here okay so definitely you could be harassment or there could be harassment jealousy or envy here surrounding you in this energy which is why i feel as if some of you feel may feel like you have to kind of defend yourself here yeah exactly okay having to defend yourself but i'm feeling like you're putting your guards down like you're not even trying to defend yourself anymore at this point you're kind of just letting your work speak for itself is the energy that it's giving here with the two of swords coming up in reverse here okay yeah there's some sort of oppression or people trying to possibly like oppress Press what you do here around you or surrounding you here with the tower in reverse here energy all right yeah, because you're the magician here, okay? You're kind of, you're continuing to create your reality and to, to continue to create what you see for yourself as this magician here, creatively as well here, okay? This is not a visionary reading of my visionaries, by the way. This is just a general energy reading. So I feel like a lot of you could just be naturally creative already here, okay? In this energy with the magician coming up here as well, okay? Spiritual and ancestors, 
what should they be looking out? Yeah, lover's energy, okay? This is definitely like a, per like a, I was gonna say a perfect match, but I was also gonna say a match made in heaven here, okay? This gives like Persephone, and like, I don't know why Persephone is very, it was very significant, it was in my intuition, but Persephone and like Hades energy is what it's giving here, but um, I don't know if y'all are like very um, familiar with that story here, but, per but per Persephone has the ability to live um, either on the under, live either on the underworld or above ground in the um in the human world right with her mother or in the underworld with hades and mythology basically says that she literally lives in the underworld for a certain season and like that's what they call fall and winter and then when she's on the other world or on the um you know on top or in the in the earthly realm that's when spring and you know uh summer come into play here so i don't know that could be very significant here persephone and um and that hades energy so you maybe look up you know read the mythology on that but we have the judgment energy here so this is definitely something ordained by the most high here okay i feel like this has definitely been a journey i could be reading from the twin flame journey right now if you all resonate with that okay to some extent i don't know why that just was like boom like bingo right in my mind but that could be very significant here okay but there definitely could be some sort of like energy about quality here okay with the um three of pentacles coming up in reverse here that could be like maybe uh, like an energy or like surrounding you of like quality maybe you're wanting a higher quality for yourself and your viewerships or just in general here okay some sort of sloppiness possibly surrounding you here okay maybe your environment maybe you know just clean up a bit i don't know that's just the energy that's coming up here okay can't make this up okay we have we have the indus we have the uh, page of wands coming up in reverse as well as the three of swords here so there could have been some sort of disappointment in a certain person person here with the page of wands more specifically here okay um their inability to make a decision or decisions here which could have resulted in some sort of heartbreak here with the three of swords energy all right we got the uh, nine of cups in reverse yeah some sort of mistake that they could have possibly made here i don't know this could be someone that you were working with here or someone that you viewed as a close friend to yeah close friendships or someone that you could have trusted or viewed as someone that was going to be on your side or in your circle or something like that here okay take it as it resonates here with the three of cups someone that you could have viewed as someone to celebrate with here okay um someone um, with the knight of coins I'm, I'm seeing that you're taking a very um I'm, i mean i feel as if this person could have showed themselves or showed up as a very mature and responsible person here or this could be you here okay showing up as this very mature responsible person handling things taking things slow just being very dependable here okay but whatever you're moving towards and investing in is bound to be very successful here for yourself with the energy of the six of wands okay spirits so angels ancestors yeah two of cups this is some definitely some sort of partnership collaboration here okay that you could be going through here okay just be a very aware of any kind of trickster spirits around you or kind of trickster energies here okay that want to present themselves as one thing but actually have um completely other other um intentions okay for you all right as you go through kind of like the stardom or this or, or this i'm hearing of this come up here okay so some of you could, could be coming up here coming up artists come you know on the rise here rising artists writers uh writer, writers i'm hearing writers okay expresses writing blogging okay um things of that sort of creative writing okay even all right two of coins here and justice yeah look at that balance okay the key is balance is the key here with the two of coins as well as the justice here all right libra energy with the justice card and then two of coins again towards virgo capital Corn energy so i feel as if you all are definitely doing your best to maintain some sort of balance or tranquility within your area here okay, okay. with this eight of cups energy it definitely talks about something that yeah. is going to be very lucrative for yourself here okay in the coming energies yeah. all right y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe it's been Prince Tate, and i'm gonna talk to y'all later okay bye